Hello everyone. Thank you for joining my first official virtual cookie decorating class. Today we're going to make a colorful and festive Cinco de Mayo themed set. Before you begin, I highly recommend watching this video all the way through so that you have time to come up with your own ideas before decorating. When I sit down to work on a set of cookies, one of the things that I do is draw out my designs ahead of time so I have an idea of the techniques that I want to use and the colors that I want to incorporate. I'm showing you the template that I created when I started designing this set, and I'm going to provide a template that you can download and print if you want to draw out your designs ahead of time as well. I'm gonna walk you through the contents of what all is in your cookie decorating bag. There's a lot of things, and some of them I want you to set aside for later. First off, you have your set of cookies. There are two each of five different designs. You might be wondering what the rectangle is for. We're gonna make a fun serape blanket using that. Then you also have your five bags of icing two bags of sprinkles. These are your taco toppers, and this is sanding sugar. Then you also have a bag that contains powdered sugar. We're going to use this for our extra credit technique at the very end of cookie decorating, so go ahead and set that to the side for now. You also have your cookie kit instruction card. Very important piece of information there, nothing in the kit needs to be refrigerated. Your icing is shelf stable for up to a few weeks, so it's fine to go ahead and leave that in the bag or seal them in a Tupperware container when you're finished if you wanna use some extra for later. This card also gives you some instructions for how long you want your cookies to dry before you package them and share with friends or maybe just eat them yourself. You also have two toothpicks. These are tools that we use for decorating. And then not included in your kit, but something that you will want to grab is a pair of scissors and probably an entire roll of, toilet, of uh, paper towels. I have two pieces here, but you'll find that cookie decorating can be pretty messy and it's always good to have extra on hand. Once you've had a chance to organize all of your cookie decorating materials, I want you to spend a little bit of time working on your icing bags. Chances are by the time you sit down to decorate, the icing's been sitting in the bag for a couple of days and that causes the water to separate out from the rest of the icing. So it's always a good idea to spend about 30 to 60 seconds uh, just massaging that bag and working the water back into the icing. If you don't do this step and you snip open the bag and start decorating, you might have some really loose icing that comes out the tip uh, instead of the nice thick consistency that you want for decorating. Once you've had a chance to do that, I'm gonna show you how I uh, cut off the tip of the bag to get it ready to decorate. I like to get the seam on the top of it and I get a little bit of icing down so I can tell where the tip is. And I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna snip off a little bit off the top. If you can see, it's not too much. You can always cut more but you can't go back and add back to it. So start small and then test out your icing on a paper towel or a piece of paper and just see how much comes out at one time. So that's a nice consistency, not too much, but you also don't want too little either. Then it makes it harder to decorate. So once you get a chance to cut open all your icing bags, you are ready to start decorating.